Researchers are finding new ways to monitor patients infected with the coronavirus and to track lots of other people as well. Yeah, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with new research that reveals the pandemic has had a big impact on our activity. This study was published in the Annals of Internal Medicine and it looked at fitness tracker data from around the world and how many steps people have been taking. And we are talking about big numbers that demonstrate a disturbing trend. Looking at over 19 million daily step count measurements in over 455,000 users in 187 countries, the researchers found that within 10 days of the pandemic being declared, there was a 6% decrease in steps taken. But here's the big one. By 30 days into the pandemic, people were taking 27% fewer steps. Now, the authors noted significant variation across different countries. For example, Italy took only five days to drop to a midpoint of 15%, while the same drop didn't occur in the U.S. until about 15 days in, and it didn't occur in Japan until day 24. Now, on the subject of mobility, another study published in the journal Lancet looked at mobile phone location data in the 25 most affected counties in the U.S. from January 24th to April 17th. They found people reduced their movement by 35 to 63 percent in different areas of the country, and the decreased movement preceded a decrease in new infections by 9 to 12 days. Now here in Southeast Michigan, by April 17th, people in Wayne County had cut their trips to 46% of baseline, and in Oakland County, it dropped to 39% of baseline. Now finally, these two stamp-sized sensors are being developed to monitor the symptoms and vitals in people with coronavirus, measuring things like temperature, pulse, and oxygen levels. One of the sensors goes on the finger, the other sits at the base of the throat to pick up vibratory signatures of breathing, coughing, and swallowing. Now quickly circling back to the study showing that we are taking fewer steps. Coincidentally, another new study shows passive stretching, that's having someone else stretch muscles like your calf, for example, can help improve blood flow and actually decrease your risk of cardiovascular disease. Now it's not as good as getting up and walking, but it's something to consider as we seem to be getting more sedentary. Back to you.